Hi, Olivia. It is so nice to meet you. Hey, it's so good to meet you too. Thank you for having me. Yeah, right now you have like the number one song basically everywhere. I know that everyone's hearing it like a million times a day. At what point did you realize like this song is huge and it is about to change my life? Um, you know what? Like I always say this, but you know, it, it's one thing to sort of like see numbers or like number ones on charts and stuff and just like look at that on my iPhone and that's one thing but like seeing it really affect people in real life has been something that's so crazy for me like even hearing it on the radio has been just so surreal or like I remember like like a week after it came out or something my mom was going on a walk and she said she was like waiting to like cross the street and a car pulled up and they're like blasting driver's license and I was like whoa that's like so cool like these like real life examples of real people like listening to this song and and resonating with it so that's that was sort of the moment where I was like whoa okay maybe we got something special on our hands yeah and you're like so young and all of the success is coming like do you have any inspirations or people that you look up to um yeah I am a big Taylor Swift fan I love her and I really look up to how well she has handled everything that has been thrown at her in her career and I think she's so classy and kind and obviously so brilliant um I am a big Lord fan as well I love her songwriting um I love like folk singer songwriters like Phoebe Bridgers and the big like Dylan girl so um yeah I, I listen to everything and I I think like the best artists like really um you know sort of learn from their peers and people that came before them so I try to do that a lot <laughs> Well, and Taylor Swift gave you a huge cosign, like right at the beginning of this whole driver's license trajectory. If she's one of your inspirations, how'd that make you feel to have her just be like, this is a legit song. Check it out. Showing up in your notification. Right. right? <laughs> I know. It was so crazy. Um, that was insane because I am so inspired by her. Like, I have so many songs where I like. I like, I'll like play it back and I'll be like, oh, I wrote that because I was like listening to Lover a lot. Or like, oh, I wrote that because I was, I was listening to New Year's Day a lot. Or like, you know what I mean? Like stuff like that. So um, I, it, having her sign off on driver's license was like just the biggest compliment. And um, yeah, I, I just in awe of her always. So that was really, really cool. I know that songwriting is such a big thing with you and it is with Taylor. Like, is there a special process you have to go through to like get in the zone to write a song? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, yeah, I'm a huge songwriter. Songwriting is my favorite thing in the whole world. Um, so I, I know everybody says this, but every song is different and it always comes differently. And sometimes it starts with music and sometimes it's with the lyric. Usually it starts with the lyric for me, but um, lately I've been really um, drawing a lot of inspiration from other artists too. So sometimes I'll like hop in the car and like listen to like a Spotify playlist that like my friend sent me and be like, oh, whoa, I like really like, love the way that they said that or like oh I love the like the chord progression I love how like cool this sounds or something like that and I'll like kind of learn from that and go home and like try to make something um using like those you know skills or you know whatever and and make them my own so that's what I've been doing lately and that's been sort of fun but you know every time is different and that's sort of the magic of songwriting that's so cool and, and I'm sure that it's a piece of those songs that like evokes a certain emotion that you get in the, as a songwriter, you just want to channel that into your own interpretation. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Couldn't have said it better. And then you've had a really cool career. Cause this isn't like your first time, like stepping into the fame pool. Cause you've done <laughs> stuff with Disney. Do you have any like go-to Disney movies that are your favorite? Ooh, oh my gosh. Disney is like a broad category. Um, Let's see. I mean, like everybody loves like the Pixar animation movies. Like those are amazing. I I love like Rapunzel. I was talking about how much I love Rapunzel yesterday. Like I love that stuff. But um, there's so many like good stuff on Disney Plus too that like you wouldn't really consider like a Disney movie. But like I guess Home Alone is on Disney Plus, and Home Alone is my favorite movie of all time. Like not even Christmas movie. It's just like my favorite movie. And, um, just watch it all year. Yeah, literally, it's the all year round <laughs> movie. It's that good. <laughs> I, I mean, like when it comes to Disney Plus, you got stuff like Sister Act on there. They have like a lot of like musical shows on there. And that's how I pick my Disney movies. Like Moana is pro probably my favorite Disney cartoon because that soundtrack is fire. So good. I know. Lin-Manuel is a genius. So great. Now, have you gotten starstruck by anybody you've been able to meet yet? I know it's weird because it's all pandemic-y and everything. And, you know, it's hard to get out. But is there anybody that you have been able to encounter? No, you know what? I haven't, I haven't talked to a ton of people. Just like, I, I think that 
I haven't really seen anybody but except for like my mom and my producer for the past like to like two weeks but um or you know months I, I was filming in Salt Lake City so I got to see my cast for a little bit but um yeah I know it just um people reaching out to me via like social media has been that sort of starstruck experience some of these people that I've looked up to since I could remember are like sort of like my peers now and like congratulating me on the song which has been so insane and that's definitely um you know a very starstruck experience <laughs> I can imagine like we were talking about how Taylor Swift co-signed driver's license for right. you. That's for me. I always get starstruck when it's the people that I grew up like admiring and wanting to be like, or the musicians I listened to growing up and but yeah. you're still growing up. So I feel yeah. like that's everybody for you. I know. And I'm such a fangirl too. Like I'm a big Taylor Swift fangirl. I'm like a fangirl over everyone. So yeah, everything is just so exciting. <laughs> And you have such a, like a passionate set of fans too. I was going through like on Twitter, like trying to see like, oh, what questions should we ask Olivia when we're talking to her? And so is there anything that's like a fun Olivia fact that people might not know that they'd be excited to hear? Ooh. Like oh something God. good. Like you put mayonnaise on a, a peanut butter oh, sandwich okay. or something. <laughs> oh, okay. No, like something like that is that I do is pretzels and cream cheese like I don't know if that's like a secret but that is so good if you're ever like in the mood for like a weird snack that's so good I was thinking about this the other day and I was talking about it with one of my friends and they're like if anybody asked you in an interview what you should say like how should you you should respond to the question like what's something that people don't know about you is that I one of my ears is like half deaf which is interesting wow. because I make music mm -hmm. um but one of my ears is half deaf and like if somebody whispers in my ear and they whisper into the wrong ear I have to be like no 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 and whisper in the right ear yeah. Um, so I don't know. I don't know if that's interesting, but that's just what my brain went to. <laughs> no, that's amazing. Cause you're so talented as a singer and a performer and everything. So to be able to like, I don't want to say overcompensate for that. DJ and wearing my headphones way too loud for too long. <laughs> you're the cautionary. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. yeah. I don't know what mine is song, but that's so funny. Now what's your favorite song to sing? Is it one of your own or is it when you sing someone else's? Oh, that's an interesting question. Um, Something that's really funny is that I've actually like never played a show with my own music, which is kind of strange because obviously driver's license came out in quarantine and you know, you know, concerts aren't a thing now. So technically I've not really ever performed my music for anybody besides like my mom and my manager. <laughs> so that's gonna be a really fun thing to do when the world sort of opens back up again. Um, but I, you know, singing is my favorite. I've been singing since I could speak and I love I don't know. I love like having the ox in the car with my friends. Like I would say the go-to karaoke song is what makes you beautiful by one direction. So if you're ever in a car with your friends, yes. you play what makes you beautiful by one direction. You'll be like everybody's favorite. <laughs> Boy band karaoke is where it's at. That's all I do so when perfect. I do karaoke and I'm terrible. I'm sure you're beautiful at it. <laughs> <laughs> and then I know we're on a, a time constraint. So just our last question, what's your guilty pleasure? Is there like trash TV or sour gummy worms? Like, what do you you do when you just want to be just oh you literally got both of them trash tv and sour gummy worms are two of my guilty pleasures i love i love trash tv i love like tlc reality shows like you two are soulmates like that stuff is so good um yes but also i love sour candy and i love um oh my god my favorite thing in the whole world it and i can never buy them because i'll just like eat all of them in one sitting is like the samoa girl scout cookies oh mm. yeah so good. I think it's Girl Scout cookie season too now. So I should, I should, uh, yeah. Maybe yeah. One box or something like that. They made it easy this year. You can order online because oh, of the you? pandemic. Yeah. Speaking of cautionary <laughs> tales that can get out of hand very quickly. <laughs> they will deliver straight to your location. Wow. <laughs> that is very dangerous. Thank you for giving me that information. Well, thank you so much for giving us time today, Olivia. We know you're like crazy, well busy. So we just want to say thank you and we super appreciate you. And obviously, we are playing driver's license like crazy and I can't wait to see what the next single is so we can play that one just as much too cool. thank you so much I really appreciate your guys' time and when live shows come back we got to get you out to Portland Oregon okay oh yeah I'm there all That's right me.